Two and a half million years ago, the weather took a turn for the worse. It got colder and drier. It was the start of the Ice Age, and the changing climate had a profound effect on our ancestors. Well, it seems that as uh, conditions became more and more difficult for survival, two different strategies were attempted. The one was used by the robust ape men, and they had a very characteristic skull, usually with a flat face, a wide flat face. And this strategy seems to have been one of toughening yourself up in that way, trying to overcome the really difficult conditions. Altogether, a, a tough-looking, robust individual. That was the one alternative. The other, which occurred in our own human and pre-human lineage, was simply an enlargement in the size of the brain. And this um, is reflected from the beginning of the human lineage. And in, in the case of, the, of, of these creatures, they seem to live by their wits rather than by their strength. And of the two options, this proved to be the one that came through. The robust ape men became extinct, whilst the descendants of the larger brain species moved out of Africa and began to extend their range across the world. For those that went as far as Northern Europe, for the first time, they had to cope with permafrost and freezing winters. The landscape was dominated by cold weather specialists. Megaloceros, a giant deer, woolly rhinos, and herds of magnificent mammoths. The only primate that could survive in these conditions was a highly specialized, cold adapted human. It was a Neanderthal. For walking with beasts, the Neanderthals were so close to modern humans that actors, rather than animation, were used to recreate them. But it still required three hours in makeup to be transformed. Neanderthal features, and particularly the features of their face, were an important part of their total adaptation. What you would see is a, is a jaw that sticks forward, that juts forward, very large eyebrow ridges, a low forehead. The very large fleshy nose on Neanderthals is very interesting because it's in fact an adaptation to cold climate. The big nose in fact warmed and humidified air as it was going into their lungs and helped them maintain very high activity rates in extremely cold weather. In fact, I suspect their noses were running a good portion of the time and the Neanderthals probably weren't very pretty to look at when they were engaging in, in uh, physical activity. They may have been pretty ugly people, actually. Nice, excellent. I beg your pardon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Neanderthals may have looked unsavory, but they certainly weren't stupid. In fact, their brains were somewhat larger than modern humans, and the fossil record seems to suggest they certainly weren't cat food anymore. <laughs> 